Fellas, let me pen a picture for you. You meet a girl. You like a girl. You ask the girl out. The girl agrees to go out with you. You want to take her to a nice restaurant, impress her a little bit. I see you. So what do you do? You decide to go out and buy a suit. So you go to your local retail store. You walk in. Hey, everybody. I'm here to buy a suit. One of the sell associates grabs a tape measure, measure it around your chest. You're a 40 regular. He takes you over to the 40 regular rack. He picks you out a nice black suit. You buy the black suit. You go home. You're excited. You're thinking, man, this girl is going to love seeing me in this black suit. You put the black suit on. You hop in your car. You drive all the way to the restaurant to meet her. She's already there. She's waiting with anticipation. You walk into the restaurant. You nod your head at the host. You walk right by. You look to your left. You don't see her. You look to your right. You don't see her. You look straight. There she is, looking as beautiful as ever. You walk up to her. You make eye contact with her. Her eyes widen. Her mouth opens. And she yells out, Why is your suit so big? Deal breaker! Don't no girl want to date a guy who can't wear a suit? So, what did you do wrong? What did you do or didn't do when you bought that suit? I'll tell you what you did. You didn't get your suit tailored. So in today's video, I'm going to talk about why it's important to get your suit tailored, especially if it's an off the rack suit and the terminology of tailoring, of what a taper, a hem, a cuff, what those things mean. So let's jump right into this video. All right, so what is tailoring? So basically, tailoring is when, let's say you take a jacket, take a suit jacket, and it's too big. You take it to a seamstress or a tailor, and what they do is they adjust it to where it fits around your body perfectly. So that is what a tailoring is. It just basically takes a garment, like a pants, a shirt, a jacket, and they readjust it to where it fits around the body a lot better. All right, so let's talk about the terminology of tailoring. So that way when you go into a tailor shop, you know exactly what to ask for and what you want from a tailor. So let's first start with taper. So when you get a jacket taper, basically what they do is they either take the size here, see where the, the, uh, the seam is? This one right there, let me get a little bit closer seam here and right here and basically what they do is they pin the sides up they pin it so they do they take a little bit of the fabric and they kind of pin it next to the seam and that way it gives them lets them know exactly where they need to cut it and this is called a taper so if you have a jacket that's a little bit baggy a little bit blocky around torso and you want to get that fixed go in and say I want a coat taper so it's called coat taper all right next we'll talk about the sleeves so we're wanting to get a sleeve taper just like the coat taper what they do is they take the seam you we'll find it here right here if you can see it right there Okay, you, you can't really see it, but you know what I'm talking about. You take the seam, they do is, again, just like they do on the, uh, the jacket itself, they take pins, they take little pins, and they just pin right down the seam. And look, like I said, it makes the tailor know exactly where he needs to cut it to make the sleeve more tapered around the arm, so where it's not baggy. Okay, and that's called a sleeve taper. Okay, so now, say your sleeve is a little bit too long and it's covering up your hands and you want to get it short. So you, that's for a sleeve to be shortened. And so basically, what they do is, 
when getting pinned up, they'll take it and they'll fold it in around your wrist like this. And so then they'll say, you know, is that good for you that way you want it? Like I said, when wearing a sleeve, you want your sleeve to be a quarter to a half inch above the wrist, right above here. So you want your sleeves. Well, you want your sleeve to show at least a quarter to a half inch of your dress shirt. So what they do, they take it, then they pin it where the seam is, and then they go in and they adjust it. So doing a sleeve is probably, I think, one of the hardest. Um, like I know a couple of tailors, and when they tell me that the sleeve is probably the one of the longest and one of the most hardest things to adjust because literally they have to go in, undo all of this, adjust to where it's a little bit short, shorten it, and then re-adjust it. And so it, it takes up to what, maybe hour and a half to two hours to do just one sleep. So yeah. So, but it's important. It's definitely important. So, let your tailor know the sleeve showing is where you're showing at least a quarter to a half inch of your dress shirt. Now, usually a coat taper, a sleeve taper, and a sleeve usually cost around twenty to thirty, thirty-five dollars to get done. It's usually around the cost. Uh, I mean. Depending on who you go to and who your tailor is, um, they may charge a little bit different, but it's usually around $20 to $35 to get uh, a taper done, a coat taper, a sleeve taper, and getting your sleeve shortened. <clears throat> All right, so next let's talk about the pants. So we talked about the jacket and what needs to be done and how much it costs to get the jacket done. Let's talk about the pants. So let's first talk about tapering. So just like when tapering a uh, coat, when tapering a pants, what they do, now there's two ways to taper or to pin the pants. And one way is kind of like the jacket, just go down the side where the seam is, and you just pin it, you just pull it out like this, and you just pin it all the way down the seam here. Yep, all the way down the seam here. Is that R, another way you can do it is from behind, which I prefer, I prefer doing it from behind. That way, when you're pinning somebody, they can see exactly how it's gonna look in the front and exactly how it's gonna look on the side. And then if you do it from the side, you can't really tell exactly how it's gonna look. So I prefer doing it when I, whenever I pin my customers, I do it from the back. And those you run around $20, 20 to $30 to get a pants taper. Next, let's talk about the waist. Um, again, when buying off the right suits, a lot of the time, the uh, waist of the pants does not fit, fit around your, uh, your waist. And so you kind of have to bring it in some. And so what they do to it is that one way to do it that you take it right here in the middle of the part of the seam is and you pinch it to where they feel is uh is tight enough and then you just take it and just pin it and you pin or just what I'll do take it and then you just like pin it right here to where you have it pinched and that lets the tailor know exactly where he needs to cut it, and things like that. That way it can fit around the waist a lot better. Those usually run around $12 to $15. And so you go into a tailoring shop and say, hey, I need to bring my waist in. So I know exactly what you're talking about. All right, last but not least, let's talk about the length of the pants. And so, there's two ways of getting this done. There's just straight leg, like I have it, and it's called a, a hem. So we get the pants hem, basically shortening the pants. So it's kind of like doing uh, the sleeve of a jacket. When you're shortening the sleeve, you're shortening the pants too. 
This is called a hemis. This is a straight leg pants. Now, uh, these actually, they run around eight to $10 to get your pants hem. Now, there's also something called a cuff. And a cuff usually runs around $10. So, so there's two ways of doing it. The, what they do is they'll take the pants, they'll fold it out until it gets it to the length that you want it. Excuse me, cuff and hem. So when getting a, a hem done, they'll fold the pants in like this to where it get, gives it to the length, get it to the length of the pants, and then they'll poke it with a um, with a needle or a pen. They'll poke it with a pen. And then what they do is they cut it and then restitch it on the inside. And do the same thing with a cuff. And well, another way you can do it too is with a chalk. That you'll just take a ruler and you place the ruler right on the floor and then you just mark it like where the calf of the muscle is and you just ask them if they want a full break, uh, no break, or half break. That's an easier way to do it, in my opinion. So, yeah, that's how you do, that's how you get um, your pants hem or your pants cup. Like I said, they usually run between eight to $12. All right, so that is my video on tailoring, why it's important, and terminology of tailoring. Like I said before, and I may have talked about this in my previous video, fit is king. You want your suit to fit you perfectly, even if it's off the rack, so you still want to look as perfect as possible. So when going out and you're buying a suit, make sure you get some adjustments done to the suit so that you look dapper, you look stylish, you look good in that suit. All right, so thanks for watching this video. Um, I had actually had a lot of fun doing this video and talking about the different terminology of tailoring and talking about tailoring and stuff like that. This is this was a lot of fun. Um, Please like, subscribe, comment, and share my videos because sharing is caring. And if you care about your family and you care about your friends, share my videos, share this knowledge to them. Let them become very stylish and very dapper. Um, comment, you know, I love feedback. So please comment on my videos. Please like, it'll help me out a lot. And subscribe and tell your friends about this so they can come on my channel and subscribe too. Alright, so I'll see you guys in the next video.